In this video, we are going to remove the directory synchronization from on-premises. For that, first we need to turn off the directory synchronization. Then we will uninstall the Active Directory Connect tool from our domain controller and that will stop the AD synchronization with Azure AD. And from there onwards, all the users will be converted as cloud only users. Then onwards, you can make changes to your user from Azure AD and there is no dependency with the on-premises Active Directory for the users. Open Windows PowerShell from your Active Directory domain controller. Then the first step that we are going to do is to disable the Active Directory Sync Scheduler. Then we need to turn off the directory synchronization. If you face any issues running this command, then you have to make sure that the PowerShell is already connected with Microsoft Azure Active Directory module. If not, you can run the following commands that is install module MS online. Then once you installed, the next step is to connect to the Active Directory Azure Active Directory module for that run the following command and that will prompt you to enter your global administrator credential of your Office 365 tenant. So now my PowerShell Windows PowerShell connected to Azure AD module. So the next step is to turn off the directory synchronization and for that I'm going to run set MS online directory sync enabled then hyphen enable directory synchronization dollar false. So this will this step will stop the directory synchronization and Azure AD will convert all the users as a cloud only user after this step. So next we are going to verify this synchronization status from Azure AD portal. So I have logged into Azure AD Admin Center and from there click on the All Services then Azure AD Active Directory. You can see that Azure AD Connect status not enabled. So this means Azure AD Connect synchronization has disabled. This means there is no more dependency between on-premises Active Directory and your Azure AD. So, so the next step is from the control panel go to programs and uninstall the Azure AD Connect and that will remove the Azure AD Connect from your domain controller or the Azure AD Connect server that you installed Azure AD Connect. So removal is a straightforward step you just need to click on the remove button that will remove the Azure AD Connect and also the supporting components. So we have removed Azure AD directory synchronization from on-premises to Microsoft 365 and now all the users in our Exchange Online, Azure AD is the source of authority for identity.